Hello, hello, welcome. So this is gonna be a video of me convincing you to start a software business or so-called SaaS, software as a service. And the reason is, first of all, because it's hard and that means that there's less competition while, for example, if you're doing drop shipping or even in something in the e-com space, first, the margins are awful, right? E-com margins are like 10, 15%. Uh, software margins are like 90%, 80, 90%, which is good. And also going back to the thing that it's about, it's about it's hard, it's, it is a good thing that it's hard, right? Because if it's hard, there's less people doing it and even less doing it the right way. So it is easier in the sense that once you know how to do it and once you're doing it, it becomes easy to trail to the, the tribulations. Of course, it's always gonna be hard. It's just like any business. But in my opinion, it is easier to drive forward a software business than an e-commerce brand. Uh, maybe I'm just biased, but I've tried all in the past and I've succeeded mostly with software. And also a good thing about software is that the margins, not the margins, but the, the multiples are very, very high. So when you're selling a software business or a SaaS business to someone else, you could get multiples from, I'd say five to 10 X, which is amazing, right? You don't see those multiples in e-com, right? Not even in agencies. And uh, the thing about that is that it's great because you make more money, right? Now, one thing that I do advise you to do is if you don't know how to code, don't go out and hire an agency, don't go out and hire someone on Upwork, don't do that. That's a big mistake because you, as a non-technical person, you need a technical co-founder to build an actual proper uh, software business. Otherwise, what's gonna happen is you're gonna hire someone off of Upwork and they're gonna do shit work because they don't care about the product because they're not invested, they don't have equity in the product. Um, and then even, even if they do a good job, right, uh, eventually they're gonna leave, right? That's just how it works. And you're gonna have to find someone else and to make the transition from the old dev to the new dev, it's a pain in the ass. And I'm speaking from experience and I, I've documented the whole process here on my YouTube channel, building my software companies. And trust me when I tell you that from someone that has built software companies and has, that has passed through all these issues, um, having a co-founder, a technical co-founder, even though, yeah, you have just 50% of the company, it is important that you have a technical co-founder because when things break, you're gonna be glad that they're there to fix things. Because again, you cannot build a tech business without being a tech person. So if you're not a tech person, go out and find a co-founder. And I can record some videos on how to find a co-founder. I'll let me know in the comments. I'll, 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 I can do that, no worries, because I've, I've done it uh, in the past, so it'll be all good. But yeah, just start a software business. If you don't know how to code, don't worry about that first. First, worry about the idea, right? Worry about what's the issue that your software is gonna fix. So why are people gonna pay you money? Because people only pay you money if you're solving them an issue, right? You, you pay money to a surgeon to fix your nose. You pay money to a dentist to fix your teeth. You buy a product because you want a, something in your life to be fixed, right? So money exchanges happen when you're fixing someone a problem they have. And with software, you need to be fixing a problem. And uh, of course, the harder the problem is that you're fixing, the more money people will pay you, okay? And I can have a video on software ideas and yeah, because I mean, the ideas are, I mean, there's no shortage of ideas, right? Everyone has an idea which they deem great, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not just so much about the idea, it's more about the validation, right? And uh, once you have your idea, which you think is great, go out to the market and validate it. Don't build it, right? Don't spend time building it because you might think, oh, this is the best idea ever. Everyone is gonna use it. And then you spend years or months making the product and you put it in the market and nobody buys it. Or worst, not worst, but equally as bad, you build a product, get some traction, but you, just, you, you realize that you built a ton of features in that you thought the market would want, but they don't really care about. That happened to me. So I'm just telling you what I did and why that's a mistake. So go out and do and validate your idea before you actually build it. So let's say you have the idea. Now, okay, now you wanna sell it. Okay, sell lifetime deals. Listen guys, I have 10 lifetime deals for my software business that's coming out in three months from now. From now, it's $200 a pop. And then once you exhaust the 10 lifetime deals, which you will if people are interested, you start building. You have three to four months to build it, build the MVP, right? You have the pressure, which is amazing, right? That's what we did, to be honest with you. And that's on my second software business, the first one, no. Um, because the first one, I didn't have a co-founder. Or I, I actually found one later on before I didn't have one. Um, so yeah, go out and validate your idea. And this seems super simple. It, it, is, it is simple, it's not easy at all, but it is simple when I'm telling you this. But uh, a lot of people go through the mistakes of uh, just building out the software and thinking, oh, this is gonna be the best thing ever. And then just you put it in the market and it just doesn't perform. So validate the idea first. If you want, if you want a video breaking down how to validate the idea, an, an idea, I can 
do a video on that. It's quite simple. Just reach out to friends and family, use social media, leverage social media, make noise on social media. And if you're selling, if you need to sell at least 10 lifetime deals to feel like, okay, this is actually validated, I'm sure in 30 days time, you can sell 10 people on your, 10 people on your idea if you think your ideas are great, right? So yeah, go out, start a software business, watch all the videos on this channel because the videos on this channel are all free and it's exactly what I've been doing to grow my software businesses from day one. Literally, I'm just sharing here everything uh, as I grow. So if you wanna watch the videos like posted six months ago, you can and you figure out what I was doing at the time. So yeah, just watch the videos on this channel and uh, hopefully you have a good journey in your software uh, endeavors. And if you have any questions, comment down below and thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.